I don't include many recent books on this list, only two from the 21st century, mainly because their legacy is yet to be determined. Number 10, From a Native Daughter, by Harmony K. Trask. A masterpiece, according to Alice Walker, on the River Color Purple, a mere collection of speeches and poems. It galvanized the Hawaiian movement in a way no other book has. Number nine, Joseph Poi Poi Mo'olelo no Kamehameha. This book was reviewed in the most underrated books list. See that video, the link is in the description. Number eight, Merika Vena Pukui, Olelo no Eau. Of all Pukui's work, this is perhaps the most valuable because the meanings, the kauna, of the Hawaiian proverbs may have been lost without it. Number seven, Fragments of Hawaiian History. John Papa Iti. Iti was the patrician who chided the upstart Kamakau and told us in incredible detail how it really was in the time of Kamehameha II. Number six, Aloha, Aloha Betrayed by Noe Noe Silva. This is the first very theoretical book on Hawaiian history and politics. Silva invokes Gayatri Spivak's question, can the subaltern, the oppressed underclasses, speak? And it goes beyond it to articulate the ways in which they do. <coughs> Number five, Hawaii's story by Lili Wokalani. A first-hand account of the most important event in Hawaiian history from its most aggrieved victim. The queen shows tact and grace beyond what can be expected. Number four, Hawaiian Antiquities, Mo'olalo Hawaii by David Mahalo. While some might put this first as its importance is unquestionable, it's more of an anthropology than a history, as Mahalo seems to dissect and critique Hawaiian culture. He had the zeal of the newly converted, as Emerson put it, and it shows. It's still crucial for all scholars of Hawaiian studies. Number three, the wind gourd of Laomama by Moses Nakuina. The wind gourd of Laomama enables the reader to understand important values of pre-contact Hawaii, such as the role played by the ideal attendant of an ali'i, which is characterized by a caring attitude both towards the Lord as well as towards the Makainana, and which included expertise in a variety of useful skills, generosity, kindness, loyalty, honesty, justice, filial piety, patience, are values of old Hawaii emphasized in this saga, which was considered significant enough to be published in several versions of Hawaiian and English. Number two, La Ie Kabai by S. N. Haleole. Translator Martha Beckwith, author of the definitive book Kumilipo, had this to say of Haleole's book. Hale. Haleole has written a Hawaiian romance which recounts the wooing of a native chiefess. rank and her final deification among the gods. The story was handed down orally from ancient times in the form of Ka'au, a narrated, rehearsed prose interspersed with song in which, in which form old tales are still recited by Hawaiian storytellers. It was put into writing by 
Stephen Halle Ole, who hoped to thus awaken in his countrymen an interest in genuine native storytelling based upon the folklore of their race, preserving its ancient customs. Already fast disappearing since Cook. And by this means to inspire in them old ideals of racial glory. Such early Hawaiian writers as Malo, Kamakao, and John Ee are among Paleo's fellow students. Number one, Samuel Manayakalani Kamakao, ruling chiefs of Hawaii. The sheer volume of history in this tome makes most other work pale in comparison. Kamakao also issues stern warnings even to the king, excessive Western influence. If you're wondering why a favorite book of yours isn't on this list, stay tuned. The list of the next five is forthcoming. If you'd like to see more Hawaiian history content, please subscribe. Check out the Umiverse on WordPress. Mahalo for watching.